Good evening, guys. Hello, everyone. Great to see you. I'm Dr. Olga Schwab, and today um, my goal is to discuss with you some interesting, uh, something interesting about semi-permanent fillers because nowadays it's uh, so much popular. Everyone tells about Scultra, about uh, Estafil, and so on. A lot, uh, a lot of interests uh, to these procedures from our clients. And if clients ask to do this, of course, we want to make it and sometimes we doubt about something and so uh, I just uh, wanted to tell you that I have uh, received a lot of messages, questions from doctors, from specialists, from clients about these procedures. So let's start. What do I mean uh, about semi-permanent fillers? Semi-permanent fillers, this is long-lasting fillers from one to three years. After three years, it's uh, already permanent fillers. So it means that they are a little bit, um, uh, they are particularly degradable, uh, more or less degradable than, semi than permanent fillers. But they are not so uh, fast degradable like um, biodegradable fillers like hyaluronic acid, for example. So today I will talk mostly about polylactic acid. This is South Korean product Estefil and about Sculptra, it's also polylactic acid, about Radius, this is calcium hydroxyl apatite and also Elance, this is polycapra lactone. This is not about that um, one product is better, another product is worse and please don't buy this or that, don't do this or that. It's not about that. I just will share with you my thoughts. Uh, you know that I practice a lot and I will tell you what I see now uh, with my patients and with the patients who come from uh, also other specialists and I will tell you just my experience and then you will make your own conclusion, you know. I mean that a lot of marketing now and it's quite intensive and we just need to think logically to see the results of procedures uh, and I believe that every product uh, can exist on the market and we just need to understand the proper uh, situation with our patients uh, like indications for certain cases sometimes it's not necessary maybe or sometimes it's um, good to do this and uh, first I will talk about radius because maybe you see and you feel that I'm more satisfied with the radius uh, because first of all I have great experience with this product uh, about 10 years and uh, I saw a lot of studies with radius and I know how to inject it and all the techniques, I see all the situations with radius and uh, I can tell you, by the way, I already posted in my Instagram, the Face Couture Academy, uh, today uh, the study in English, it's not a new, new study, but anyway, it's not from long time ago. The study shows that uh, radius stimulates a collagen uh, type 1 and this is the most important collagen for our skin and this is a live collagen and it gives a very nice result to smooth the skin to make the glow effect with the skin that's why we call this procedures baby skin technique with the meso radius, it's diluted radius and we use it to improve the skin quality so uh, and there are some studies, Russian by the way, uh, that show that uh, radius also can stimulate elastine. This is another uh, dermal protein which is very important for the quality of the skin. So two of them, collagen type 1 and elastine, is the most important uh, proteins uh, for, for, for the beautiness of the skin and radius stimulate them. The pure radius, the vector techniques and the high diluted radius as well, of course, as more you dilute radius, as longer you will um, wait for the result. And by the way, um, radius, like I told you already, it's hydroxyapatite of calcium and uh, it's produced in um, US. 
and uh, sales by company merit. And uh, uh, as I told you, uh, I'm more satisfied with this product because uh, in my practice, it's uh, already 10 years and a little bit maybe more. I can tell you that I <laughs> never, I'm, I swear you, I never saw big complications with radius. Uh, maybe at the beginning of my practice, it was one embolization in the nasolabial fold, I saw this complication. And um, uh, just maybe last years, I see some reactions from their tissues uh, in some reactive patients. Uh, it's like allergic reactions and I connected to previous vaccination and uh, um, that's why I see this during last two years and uh, also what maximum I saw uh, this is like um, I will uh, post a picture as well um, their bumpings, their uh, white marks after procedure and you know specialists who approach me with this problem uh, when I analyze the situation the most of situation was with the wrong technique done so the product was placed uh, too much superficial when we dilute radius it doesn't mean that we can uh, inject it more superficially no we just need to inject it to the same level in the deep dermis or subdermally and then uh, we just um, make the product a little bit more diluted uh, not to get any problem, any bumpings and so on but the collagen stimulation will be anyway slowly but we will see the nice result with elastin, with collagen and it needs sometimes two weeks, three weeks, one month and then we can continue with these procedures to, to give more result what about polylactic acid? In my opinion, I just wanted to mention that <laughs> I will tell you my opinion about it. It's not like 100% uh, you need to consider that. Uh, just I share what I see in my practice. Um, with polylactic acid, I, this is also collagen stimulators. All these products I mentioned, these are collagen stimulators. So they renew the collagen in the skin, how it's, um, uh, it, it, it's um, announced uh, on the market and we don't use them for like fillers for volume, just radius and others normally not, we just use them for collagen stimulation in the skin. As I told you about radius, it stimulated mostly collagen type uh, 1 and elastin. About Sculptra, I'm not sure about that. Uh, there are also some studies which show which shows that there are some uh, amount of collagen type 1 and at the same time we don't know the amount of collagen type 3. And I guess that it's much, much more, uh, uh, more than with case and radius. Unfortunately, after fillers with polylactic acid, I can see sometimes with some patients, especially with young patients, like high density fibrosis after procedures. After some weeks or months, uh, patients they come and uh, they are not satisfied that there are some bumpings in the skin, just like not even skin anymore, and uh, they are not happy with this, of course. I didn't expect to see this uh, that on the skin will be something visible like sausage in the skin. With radius, I never saw that. Like I told you, uh, I, I told you already maximum what I saw, and it's much more um, easy to correct. Uh, why we see this fibrosis after after uh, polylactic acid fillers and polycaprolactone fillers? I think because they um, have tend to more inflammation in the tissues and when it's chronic inflammation in the tissues the fibrosis is uh, like the amount of fibrosis of uh, high dense fibrosis is more and uh, then we see uh, these bumpings we see these unwanted sausages that are under or in the skin and then it leads to 
um, swelling in the tissues and we see the swollen faces. Sometimes we see that also uh, after uh, some threads, especially pedal threads. So some products, they have tend to uh, chronic inflammation in the tissues. And from one hand, we see that um, companies tell us that it's not like that. It's quite safe and nothing will happen. From another side, for example, in recommendation to Sculptra, we can see that um, uh, they recommend not to inject to the young patients, to the skin. Why? Because if you just logically, logically uh, think about it, because of their good active immune system and it could be more reaction in the tissues and more uh, this uh, hard, dense fibrosis. And uh, um, I see that a lot of young patients already uh, was injected, were injected with this product and definitely in these cases I can't agree with the specialists that it should be done in the young patients. Yes, if it's uh, too much problem in the skin and the skin condition is very bad and this is like uh, 65 or 60 or 70 uh, old patient, I, I can understand that it's necessary. But in young patients, in 35, 40, when the skin is good enough and uh, uh, I really don't see the reason to inject it. Uh, in young patients, in my practice, I prefer mesoradius treatment just to stimulate the collagen first type uh, a little bit and a little bit elastine to get this glow result and that's it. And sometimes you can continue these uh, procedures, especially on the neck, for the hands, if it's necessary. And um, if we uh, inject a lot the polylactic acid and polycaprolactone uh, fillers, we need to be ready that in some patients we will face with uh, this high dense fibrosis. And we need to understand what, what to do with that. Uh, actually, what we can do? We can use some machines, uh, CO2 laser, like uh, the, the heaviest one, uh, the heaviest treatment, and we also can use micro, uh, microtops um, uh, for uh, some machines for lymphatic drainage, like myostimulation and so on, uh, and microtox, and uh, also some electrophoresis. And, uh, but we never use something like termash or RF because it's not a good idea to hit the fibrosis. It will not change the fibrosis, it would do even worse. And also we can combine these procedures with uh, ferments, with collagenase, langidase, uh, hyaluronidase. Uh, there are some ready cocktails already, for example, with um, BB serum uh, with this um, brand, you can try them, uh, they work pretty good and you can, uh, you can make these cocktails, you can use them, you ju just need to research about the dosage and so on. Also sometimes we need uh, like something to add some hormones uh, to these cocktails, so it depends on the situation and it's quite individual treatment. But we need, uh, we need to keep it in mind. So this is uh, everything I wanted to tell you today about these fillers, about my experience. And then uh, you can ask me more questions and comments if you still have questions about it. Because really it's now uh, very demanded procedures. I wish you good luck with your patients. And uh, just stay tuned and see you soon. Bye bye.